I so got out. She laid out flat on the side of the car. Like, what happened? Girl, get up. Why I tell you about like, Karan? Why I tell you about Karan and mess with these nice people? Get your ass up and let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, now, all right, now. All right, now. Hold back on some of that good morning. Guys, what's good? What what's up, what good? Up, what's up, loves? How's everything? We are out and about. As you can see, we're on the road again. Yes, we are. Let's see. We're heading to IHOP to grab something to eat. Your girl ain't gonna grab too much, all right? Because guess what? I'm trying to lose a little extra pounds. I'm trying to lose a little weight. So I'm not going to grab too much to eat. But after, let's see, IHOP, we are going to go to Costco's. Check out some stuff. Some, you know, exclusive stuff, so to speak. <laughs> and, you know, just basically just bounce around in the wind. Also, I know we got to go to Trader Joe's as well. To pick up a couple things. And that's just basically it. Right now, the traffic is not so bad, considering so we should be good. So in the meanwhile, in between time, what's good? What's goody? What you guys been up to? How was your Thanksgiving? Was it um, a traditional Thanksgiving? Did you spend it by yourself? Maybe with you and your spouse, with you and your child? Or with, you know, just doing it big with the fam? And I just, I'm curious to find out what was your responsibility for Thanksgiving? Were you responsible to cook everything? Or were you just like responsible to bring one dish? Or maybe two dishes? <laughs> you, know that, you know that famous question. Who made the macaroni and cheese? Who made the sweet potato? Who made this and who made that? Exactly. Just give me a little bit of this and a little bit of that. <laughs> Especially if there's a shirt yeah. you're not <laughs> sure who made it. So you're like, um, I don't know about yeah. that. Until you taste it, that they good. You be like, yo, mm -hmm. this thing tastes good. You, you know be, what? You be the one Who made to, this? Trying to sneak some more in the yep. Such and such. You know what? You make it again next year. Exactly. <laughs> now that's your job. As your job from now on. Yep. Just happy to be up and just you know, just happy, just grateful. I mean, we're so fortunate to be able to be up and be up and about and just and it's we're just so fortunate thank god you know thank god above definitely for that because without him i tell you won't be no waking up so i'm happy about that it actually started to drizzle and they ain't gonna stop nothing though they ain't gonna stop the flow never does yep we'll be in a blizzard coming back on the highway Pennsylvania, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. We go. I remember one time we was house hunting and craziest thing ever, we thought we wanted to like live out in Pennsylvania, right? So we went out there and everything uh, it was a cool drive out, driving out from Brooklyn and stuff. It took us about what, two hours I think? But the, nevertheless it was a lot of fun. We get out there, we see the house and everything. The house is beautiful. You know how it is in PA for those of us who visited PA before or for those of us who live in PA. You get all the space because it has a lot of land and, you know, the whole nine yards. Tell me why on our way back, it started to snow. And when I tell you the accumulation of snow in yeah. Pennsylvania is no joke. New York. New Jersey ain't got nothing on Pennsylvania when it starts to snow. Like, what? It was crazy. We ended up getting stuck. All right. We figured, all right, let's get out of here. It's about to snow. Before we even made it maybe like five miles in, the snow started to come down even heavier to the point where driving was ridiculous. Yeah. It was rough. All right. And it took us a two hour journey, took us like six hours from Pennsylvania to Brooklyn at the time, simply because you had some people that couldn't drive in the snow, they crashed, you know, they crashed the car. It was just a lot of stuff. Not to mention the roads were slick, so you had to like drive one mile per hour. It was a mess. So it took us about six hours to get home. And at that point in time, we were like, listen. 
I'm going home. <laughs> we ain't moving to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is yeah. a wrap. <laughs> My main intention was to get the group home yep. safe and sound. Exactly. Exactly. By the grace of God. But we was like, you know what? Yeah. No way. We're not moving to Pennsylvania. It's beautiful, but when it snows, it snows. You hear me? Yeah. And ooh, I mean, if you got a chase a nine to five while you're out there, then it's tough. Exactly, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because everything shut down pretty soon. If there's a little bit of snow start yeah. accumulating, they shut the highways down and shut everything down. But you say to yourself, too, like, who wants to be combating and dealing with all that snow? Because remember, as a homeowner, you got you to gotta shovel that yeah, stuff. You, deal with that. you feel me? And it was, it was, oh, it was just too much going on. I think that was out in Tobihana. Tobihana, Tobihana. Pizzeria. Mm -hmm. Yep. Tobihana. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> well, overall, yeah. So it's a it was a good experience to go out there just to look around, see what's going on. It was. It was. But um yeah, that that snow was just it was just coming down a little bit too fast. Um, it, it 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 didn't gradually like you know, we're accustomed no, to the snow it, where it, it gradually, yeah, it just gradually, it gradually it just started accumulates. coming down with big clumps of it, and I was like, "Oh my god!" In that what situation, is fifteen minutes, like I'm talking about, like three inches and better. Like, what is going on? Like, this is crazy. Yeah. We're about to get stuck out here. What's good? <laughs> it seemed like the more we drove, the, the more it just came down. Like we were yeah. driving right into the storm. Yes, yes. That's how bad it was. You were a baby. Yeah, you guys were kids at that time. A baby girl, oh, like I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but um, nah, you was like really little, like a baby, baby, probably like one. I wouldn't say one. Yeah. It's not it hasn't been that long ago. What you kid? Time be flying. Yeah. Time be flying. She was about one. So so what's that? Eight? Yeah, one or two. Time goes I mean, really two. quick. And he was about like four. Yeah, like three to four. They were like little little babies, little babies basically. Yeah, so that that was just it, man. I, I looked in that rear view mirror, I saw everybody was sleeping. Oh, I, I fell like, asleep you know after a while. I was so I annoyed. Do what I, gotta do. I think I got so stressed out, like just seeing what was happening. I just was like you take nap now. <laughs> I went to sleep. <laughs> Me like nap time. <laughs> Me love nap time. <laughs> Me love Lacey. Lacey. Shut up. You're crazy. Lacey. Lacey. <laughs> Chinese medicine. You take nap now. <laughs> take nap now. <laughs> oh, knocked up. By the time we woke up, I swear I think we was in Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. By the time y'all woke up, I was I was just parking the like, car. We still out here? I was parking, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh cool. They got a so we don't gotta they got a trader Joe's right here in private. Yay! No, so we can do not, it on our way back if uh, we take the same route. Yeah, yeah, we can. Right? Yes, that's perfect. Yeah, that definitely makes sense right there. You ever have a trader Joe's in your neighborhood but you, or a, any particular store in your neighborhood, but you don't realize it? It's the craziest thing. <laughs> Until like at the last minute, you're like, oh my God, I didn't know that was a store. Like, oh my goodness, I didn't know there was a store right there. Mm -mm. So instead of having to go all the way on the other side, it's more convenient. So this is gonna work out perfectly. What? <laughs> Let me turn you guys around so you can see what the highway is looking like. Much fall foliage out here because it's a lot. No, all the leaves are almost like done for. It's right? still, it's still, it's still a little set and set. It's, but it ain't nothing it's a about. nice, clean, and clear open highway day today. Sunday, you know what else I like? Believe it or not, I like when it snows, contrary to what we just said. Me too. Yeah, right? it it's cool. I like when it snows simply if I could be. Let's see. Let's see. I love the snow. You know when I love the snow, not to cut you off? Yeah. I love the snow when I could just wake up, open the window, I, or yeah. open the curtains, and look at the snow. Oh, that looks so pretty. I was going go right to say something like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I totally agree. That's when I love the snow. But if you got a foot track in that damn thing, no, no, no. It's mm -hmm. not going to happen. That's a whole different story. But we had our days, boy. We bust oh, our ass plenty of times in that snow the, trying to 
Let me tell you man, guys. Man, I, sure I got a story. Man, I got a story. The last time I fell in the snow, this was, uh, we talking about like a good, maybe 14, 15 years ago. That's, yeah, because they weren't born yet. And I don't know if you recall, I stepped out the car. <laughs> and as fast as I stepped out, I was like, Whoop! I was literally sitting on the ground. Literally sitting on the ground. In a pile of snow. And at that time, you was you was still in the car. Yeah, I was, try, I was, so I was trying to hurry up and see where you went. <laughs> <laughs> you just disappeared. I'm like, grand opening, what? grand what? opening, grand closing. I disappeared like in a matter of seconds, all right? I thought she went under the car. That's what I said. <laughs> and let me tell you I something. I got out. She laid out flat on the side of the car. Like, when girl, it happened. Girl, get up. What I tell you about, like, up. What I tell you about Karai messing with these nice people? Get your ass up and let's go. <laughs> when it happened, I just sat there. <laughs> I was over it, guys. I just sat there. And he was like, Girl, get up. Are you going to get up? And I was like, listen, at this point, forget the pride, forget the shame, forget all of that stuff. I don't even care at this point. I'm just going to sit here and regroup, rethink what just happened, and then finally get up. <laughs> Some days you just be like, you just be like, it is what it is. Hmm. You feel me? I didn't even care who saw me at that point in time. It was the funniest thing. And I that's... To be honest, I think that was the last time I remember falling in the snow. Rewind um, the clock. It's fall number two. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't about to fall this holiday season. But, like, in regards to what you were saying, liking to wake up and just look out the window and see how beautiful that snow is before yeah. it gets all messy and stuff with Absolutely. dog poop and dog pee and everybody's little dirty sneakers and boots tracking in the snow. It's a gorgeous scene. Right, but I also like it when I guess when it, when you're able to go to the mall, as crazy as it sounds, because we did that last year, mm. and we was like one of the only people on the highway, <laughs> and as a matter of fact, I yeah, ironically, I'm wearing the same. Shoes that I went out there to get. Oh, I thought that. How was, funny I, thought, is that? I thought it was the same shoes that made you bust your ass. Nah. That's not <laughs> <laughs> and I don't wear these shoes often. All right, you're gonna see later. But I don't wear these shoes often. And it was snowing that particular day, and we was like, mm, we knew it was gonna snow. School was canceled for the kids. But you know what's funny? Because they were on homeschool at the time because of the shutdown. But they called to say that. They're going to get an off day from school, even though they're home, which is kind of crazy, right? I know that happens to some of you guys. And so we was like, all right, they call. They're not going to have any online school. We know it's going to snow. Let's just head on out to the mall. And we did that. And like I said, we was like one of the only people out there on the, on the highway. Um, it snowed, yes. The accumulation was much slower than Pennsylvania. But it was a pretty scene. It was a pretty sight to just see. Just driving in the snow, just watching it come down. It was nice. It was it was pretty cool. Speaking of that, how how many of you guys know what you know, pretty much know what I'm about to tell you. When you're like snowed in and you get to digging your car out of there. Oh boy. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, my wife will tell you. I dig that car out to the point where it looks like a driveway, like it's mad clean. She tells me, why do you do that? Why do you do that? Somebody just going to take it. Because like, we park I'm, on the street. I'm right? hoping that I come back and it'll be my spot again. You know what I'm Public saying? parking. All right? Public parking. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> Sometimes. You're about to miss the exit. About to miss the exit. For sure, for it's sure. Attention. It's attention. You want to do Applebee's instead of IHOP? Or because it's kind of like it's, kinda it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. You it's want lunch, lunch? I don't know. I'm just asking. Applebee's or IHOP? Well, um, a, it doesn't make a difference, actually. Because we're wanna... still within the area, right? Mm -hmm. like so, well, you got, you got Dunkin' Donuts. You got all that good stuff. Here, I don't so. know. Y'all 
take y'all pick. Flip a coin. So yeah, you see where we end up. Obviously, whether it be Dunkin' Donuts, IHOP, or Applebee's, I don't know. Wait. Wait. Reroute. Just, I'm looking at the parking lot and I'm like, how in the hell do you get in there? Where? To Applebee's? Yeah. Oh, so Applebee's is going to be the choice. No, it's just it's the next one. I mean, I burnt my brakes for Applebee's, yeah. Uh, I almost missed my exit. <laughs> Had to hit that brake hard to stop. <laughs> Applebee's, it is what it is. By so the time we get back, he got to pull the shovel out the back of the truck and get the shovel all over again for a new spot. <laughs> Because, of course, I mean, but it's very interesting every single time. Some days we're like, we want to move to a place when there's like where, where there's no snow, simply because, simply because, like, when you gotta shovel your shovel every five minutes to get into your parking spot, it becomes annoying, all right? But, but here's something that I literally came up with, and I always say this, right? During the snow, when the snow starts to pile up like that, just like street cleaning would, would tell you move to the side, mm -hmm. why don't they just move everybody's car to one side just like the street cleaning and come and plow the snow up and put the cars back? Y'all tell me that don't make sense. Mm -hmm. Really, it, it makes a lot of sense to me. I sat it and I thought about it enough to think, you know, to even verbalize it. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe that little message right there gets to whoever got to get to. And they, and, and, and the they, you know what I'm saying? Down. And they kind of do it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, your boy. <laughs> what this? up, girl? Uh, so, so, uh, oh, Australia, take home, does it snow? <laughs> in Australia, does it snow? Does it snow in Australia? Any oh, Australians yeah. watching? Do you, do you Any Australia, Australians watching, watching might? want to share? What's going on in Australia? Um, I think it's, it does, because they do have winter. As a matter of fact, um, because they're on the other side of the hemisphere, when we have summer, they have winter. So right now, they're like within their spring season, getting ready for summer as we prepare for winter. Uh -huh. Hey, you ain't think mommy is on there. <laughs> they, get, they getting ready to barbecue <laughs> some rube burgers. <laughs> for real. Some rube burgers. You know what them rube burgers? You know them. Rube burgers be about food. If you ain't had a rube burger before, you better go get you one. <laughs> <laughs> better go get you some. All right, so yeah, we about to go inside this IHOP, turn it up inside of the stuff our stuffings, you know. Yes. <laughs> you want to eat with us? Come inside and eat Let's with figure us. Figure it out. We turn this noise like, ass thing off. Oh, the windshield wipers. Excuse yeah. that. Oh, excuse that noise. Right now is drizzling, so hopefully by the time we go inside and we eat and we come out. It's gonna stop raining, all right? Hopefully, we keep our fingers crossed. Really? By the way, you like my nails? Really? You like my nails? They are so mm -hmm. cute, cute. Mm. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. You I like love them. them. They're nice and thin. I hate when they're just like basically gel on top of my real nails, but I hate when they make it too thick and you can't get to do certain things. It's so annoying. Like pick your nose. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Don't pay attention to him. He's lying. <laughs> Booger picking his instrument. <laughs> what? That's Booger, Booger, Booger picking instrument. Booger. Oh, Lord. Don't pay attention that's to what him. It is. But anyway, yeah. She did a great nah, they job. They look gorgeous, though. They look cute. Thank you. Great job. All right, let's go. Lego. Done. We're about to head head out. We already paid the bill. 
about to get in the car and you're about to head out with us, right? We're gonna head on over to Costco's and we're gonna see what they have. Yeah, we want to buy some exclusive stuff, all right? Some exclusive, exclusive stuff. So when we get there, I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is that we're trying to buy. And I also got to go to Trader Joe's. Yes, yes. I'll see you in a second. Stay tuned. Guess what? We're going to be in the liquor and bar section. Yay! <laughs> liquor and bar section. You hear me? Shot, 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 shot. Liquor and wine section because we're going to be restocking our bar. So, since we're going to be restocking our bar, we figured we'd come to Costco's and see what they have. Um, and pretty much price check in comparison to where we usually go to get our liquor. Like I said, we're going to be restocking that bar. I'm going to show you what it looks like, what we plan on putting out because, of course, it's the holiday season. So you gotta make sure that bar is ready. You hear me? You hear me? <laughs> we got the, let's see what we got so far. Hyper. Corbell. I think I'm pronouncing it right, Taiku, Japanese wine. Jap yeah, red flower, special edition. It's Japanese sake. Japanese sake, all right. So, it probably looks like it got a nice little kick to it, a nice little buzz. I'm not gonna lie. I don't always buy liquor for the flavor because I don't know whatever I don't I don't know right, what every right, liquor right, tastes like. Right. But I do buy for the aesthetic. And the and the prettiness the bottle, of the bottle. For the bottle. Yep. So some of the stuff that we're gonna be picking up today, I might never ever taste it, alright? But mm -hmm. I will buy it because it's just simply pretty. And it's all about making that bar look look nice, alright? Especially for the holidays. You want to hear a true fact about your girl? I've never been drunk before. I'm so serious. I've never been drunk before. Yep. <laughs> nah, there you have it. So I think this wouldn't make a nice gift set. All different types of Patron. That's nice, all right? And this is at Costco's. And it's $140. As a matter of fact, we're gonna pick up some stuff and I turn the camera back on once we get in the house because I'm gonna show you what we bought and you're gonna watch us put the bar together and all that cool stuff. Yeah, we back in the house. I showed you what the bar looked like. Now it's definitely time to fix this bar up. Make First on up, we got this big old bottle of Belvedere, right? Normally what I do when I start to line up my bar, I put most of the big stuff in the back. So this is a big boy and he about to go right in the back. Just chill all by himself in this corner right here. Right? You see that? That's the reason why I put the light. So when, when, the, you, know, when you put the bottles there, especially the Grey Goose, you get to see that illuminated. illumination inside yeah. the bottle. That's pretty. That's what we want. How many liters is that? Because it's really big. All right, let's check this out since the wife want to know. All right, we got 1.75 liters. Yep. And it's 40% by volume. Wow. So you are going to be drinking responsibly with that one. All right, next up, the same 1.5 liters as well. Another big boy. Another big boy. This is a 35% uh, and by volume as well. So we're gonna put that big boy right there, let him shine and look real pretty. Don't that look good? That look good, right? Yeah. So here we go. We got right now another 1.75 uh, liter. This is 40% by volume, 1800 tequila. This right here gonna get you right. And we got that one from Costco's. Costco's, right? So we got the Belvedere and the 1800 tequila from Costco's. But the Syrah, we got that from our local uh, liquor store. 
So how so about this? This is a small bottle, so we're going to start. How about this one right here? The Smirnoff Raspberry. Smirnoff Raspberry. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we got some Smirnoff Raspberry. Trust me, when y'all come to chill with the crew, y'all going to really chill. We're going to have a good time. Need that. Yep. Smirnoff Raspberry. What's the next one on the deck? Where we at? Where we at? Uh... Probably put out this, uh, I'm trying to, trying to, trying to select real good here. So, all right. So I'm gonna show y'all the uh, tangerine. We're gonna put the tangerine next to that one. All right. Let's put that right there. And then we're gonna come through with uh, the Crown Royal, Crown Crown Royal, Crown Royal. However you say it. Crown Royal. The Crown Royal. <laughs> we're gonna put this bad boy right here. I like to always put him over here for some reason, or put him in the middle. So he can represent, cause that 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 bottle is tough right there, right? We gonna start. We, matter of fact, I'm gonna leave him right there in the middle. All right. So who we got now? Of course, you know we got the hand dog. This one right here is a 175, 175 liter. All right, 40 percent by volume. You are gonna drink responsibly with that one? Uh, let me see. What do you think, baby? Right. Left, right? This yeah. way? Nah, you don't want to block the Bellevue. The Bellevue? All right, so, so we pull them right between, in the middle. Exactly. Right All right, there. there we go. That's perfect. Right there is good. All right, so what we got next? We got the Jack Daniels. Yeah. All right. See, I, I like, that's what I'm saying. We like to put, this is an 80 proof. My wow. God. Woo, this is 80 proof. Wow. 40% <laughs> 40, 40 by volume. This one right here, you really got to sip slowly. All right? So we put that right there. That looks good so far, guys? That looks real good. I think it looks good. What do you think, babe? Looks good? All right, so. We, I think we might want to swap a little setting because, all right, that's. Which one? All right, the, um, the Jack Daniels is blocking the 1800 tequila. Okay. So maybe you could put the Jack Daniels in between the Smirnoff and Tangeray. Tangeray, okay, over there. Yeah, it's spaced out the Tangeray just a little bit. It, like right that? and all right perfect okay so we're gonna do the patron this is the patron silver right and the patron reposado oh you didn't show them in the camera it's right here they can see they can see <laughs> they see it right there they know it's good don't let him cheat y'all ain't no cheating make sure there. he show you everything now nah, we're gonna we're gonna show everything bring in that class a azul reposado tequila and put it right there there this bottle is handcrafted bring it out a little bit more that is too pretty to be hidden let me bring it out like how? right exactly pull you you doing perfect right there now pull it to the right like yeah exactly exactly good mm. all right bring so, it out a little bit more a little bit more yes how much more how about if i just bring it this way like that right perfect but then <laughs> but then we, <laughs> we gotta find something to fill the gap nah you all right, so we're, we're gonna fill the gap with. Let's put this here to add some color, some vodka, mang, mango, pineapple. Right? <laughs> this is a big boy as well. Let's see if we can squeeze Perfect. him back there. Exactly. See? It's now, exactly. now you got some color, making everything else look right. All right. Now, we still got more. Don't worry about it. We still got more. The the uh, the, the, Serrano. the Serrano. Okay, the Serrano. I think we're gonna squeeze. How dare you turn that that way? I you don't know. never do that. Look at this. All right. Um, it, it won't fit. Unless we put this around right here and it won't be blocking anything. All right? Shift this down a little bit. The Serrano's right here. And we still got one more. We got this pretty bottle right here. The Willets. Right? This is the bourbon. Mm -hmm. Can you see that, y'all? Uh, a little bit. Put your hand in. Yeah, that's perfect. That's good? All right, there we go. So we're going to drop this to the back. Or should we put it over here? Yeah, he kind of short. Perfect. Let's put, let's put him right there. Let's leave him, let's leave him in the corner there. Now, did I miss anything? I don't think so. Okay, now we're going to go to the Ciroc collection. First one, we got the Passion, right? These are all the new releases. Then we got the Summer Watermelon. That. Where are we going to put it, though? Should we put it right here? Should we put it right there? Mm. All right. We got the summer citrus and white, oh, the white, white, white grape. All right. 
A white grape gonna hold it down in the middle. And this guy gonna hold it down right there. How they look so far, guys? Real good. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to grab a glass? Ready, ready to pour you out some? Oh, let me not forget this. Tycoon. This is Tycoon Red Flower. Sake. Put this in the back, right? Right, yeah. right next to right this next to the homeboy. Exactly. Right? Next to Mr. Azul. So Saki is over there. Alright, so now I think that's enough for the hard liquor. Besides this guy, Captain Morgan Spice Rum. Mm -hmm. Right, we got this here. So we're gonna probably put Captain Morgan right here. Right? Kinda looks good right there. Right? And what we got next? What we got next? What we got next? Alright, let's bring out some Malibu. We got coconut rum, Malibu, right? Looks good. We're gonna put that to the back. Put that right there like that. There's actually two bottles. We got we got that Mr. Boston. Yeah. Eggnog. Now nah, you gotta say it like this, Mr. Boston. We got All that right? Mr. Boston. That's right, Mr. Boston. Mr. Boston. Mr. Boston. Yeah, to hear the wife say Mr. Boston. <laughs> <laughs> that Mr. Boston. See, now you see, when I try to incorporate the little gaps in the middle, it hides what's yeah, behind there. So it's, so it's kind of impossible to show you. But you already know what's on the, you already know what's here by the time you ring the bell and you show up. You understand? No so, worries, guys. 10 out of 10, when we do like our little, um, our little B-roll footage, trust me, it'll be reorganized. But the main point is you get the gist of what's going on. You see what we purchased and, you know. The type of liquor that we kind of enjoy sipping on, so yeah. to speak. Got some peach snaps here. A little peach peach to go with the peachiness of the day. All right, so where are we going to put the peach snaps? Snaps. Snaps. Snaps and snaps. I guess we'll, you can't really, you probably can't see it in the camera, but I'll show you everything after I'm done. So it's going to go somewhere in the corner to hang out over here. You're a snack. You drink peach snaps. Right? So that's going to go. All right, so now we got some. That's Corbell or Jose. Yeah. We got a little Corbell, oh, a little Corbell, you know, a little Corbell uh, champagne. Put that over there in the champagne section. All right. Um, what else we got? What is this? Poppy, I think. We got some Poppy. Yeah, Poppy looking cute, right? All right, <laughs> so here we go. I'm running out of space for stuff, but I'm going to make it happen. Right. I'm put it right there. Put the champagne right here by this Rona. Put this one right here. All right, and what else? What's this? Uh, uh, Kendall Jackson. Well, we got Kendall Jackson Chardonnay. All righty, so we gonna you know we get we get we get classy in here every once in a while. It ain't always about the hard liquor. We get some classy stuff. All right, so maybe we put him here. I don't know. Like I said, we're going to rearrange yes, it during rearrange the game roll footage. But for now, it's just to display what we have. Oh, Grand Marnier. We got that Grand Marnier. Yay. Can you I see that? I would love to cook with that right there. See that, right? All right, so, so cool. Granny, Granny, Grandpa, Grandpa, whoever you are. <laughs> I guess you can go right here somewhere. Soda so, Home Moscato. Right. right. Got that over here. I had picked that up actually from ShopRite. Um, okay. Yeah. And what else we got? Got some iced tea, peach cocktail, right? Tastes very good. All right, we're gonna put that there. And we got some, some Baileys. Some Baileys. And we have picked that up from right. ShopRite as well. Baileys looking cool. All right, so we're gonna put Baileys. Or was it Costco's? One or the other guys. Baileys Either Costco's right or ShopRite. All right, so that's about it. What else? Right, that's about it. What's this? Right. Nah. Well, hmm. pumpkin spice, cream liquor. Yeah, I got that from Costco's. Um, anyway, I didn't really like pumpkin it that much. spice. She didn't really like it that much, but it's here. If, it, if anybody Costco's. else want to drink it, mm -hmm. you drink it. <laughs> All right, so boom. And that's about it, I think. All right. So now I'm gonna take this off the tripod and I'm gonna show y'all a quick rundown and everything that's here.
I did stop off at Trader Joe's, as I mentioned, and I did pick up some stuff. So I can't wait to show you what I got. I got some fresh avocados because, of course, I'm going to probably make avocado toast with most of it. They're still hard. They're not ripe yet, which is good because by the time I'm ready for it, it should be perfectly ripe. And I plan on eating at least maybe an avocado a day or <laughs> maybe one or two because they're all going to ripe at the same time, to be honest. And we have like, let's see, six avocados in this bunch right here. What else did we get? Let's see. I'm going to try it for the first time. The organic rolled oats with ancient grains and seeds. All right. It's a blend of rolled oats along with amaranth, quinoa, chia seeds, granola. No, not even granola, but ground flax seeds as well. And it's gluten free. But this sounds really healthy. I mean, I've had oatmeal before with chia and flax seeds because I have the seeds separately. But this right here is definitely, um, it's going to be a go, all right, guys? I'm going to try it out, let you know what I think. And it also says, let's see, good source of fiber, 41 grams of wholesome grains. We could all do with a little fiber in our digestive system, all right? <laughs> I went ahead and grabbed up some Parmigiano Reggiano. Uh, Parmesan cheese, obviously, it's already grated. Trader Joe's brand. I've never tried it from there before, so that's a first. And of course, let's see what we got in the bag. Two lemons, and that's gonna be for a recipe. As I'll tell you in a second. We have our candy pecans or candy pecans, however you want to pronounce it. Basically, I was looking for candied anything, candied nuts, peanuts, cashews, because as most of you know, your girl's from Brooklyn. And every now and then, the guy with the peanut truck, the guy that, you know, they stand on every corner in the city, and they caramelize the peanuts. Oh my goodness, I think that is so delicious. So I was kind of like on the hunt for something like that, but all they had was the candied pecans. They didn't have um, the other variation of nuts. And yes, I've had it from Trader Joe's before. It's pretty good. And we went ahead and got ourselves some sourdough bread. I love sourdough bread. In fact, I love a lot of different types of bread, right? I love ciabatta, um, soft brioche rolls. It doesn't really matter. I do love bread. And yeah, this is the sourdough bread. And what I'm going to do with this is... I'm going to show you the next thing. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. Put that to the side for a second. Because your girl went ahead and grabbed up some pastrami style smoked Atlantic salmon. Oh my goodness. This right here, I know it's going to be good. All right. Once I saw the package, I'm like, this is going to be good. Let's see. It's smoked with apple, cherry, oak, and maple wood. I mean, come on. This is going to be something right here and it's pastrami style so maybe a little chewy i'm not sure anyway i also went ahead and got the smoked sake salmon which is hot smoked check it one out you can see all the blend of seasonings you know this right here is popping all right let me see it says with cracked peppercorns mustard seeds and lemon oh talk about a nice lemony flavor with a little hint of spice and smokiness omg i can't wait to I can't wait to sink my teeth into this. Like, honestly, what I plan on doing with this right here, the salmon, the smoked salmon, right? I plan on doing some avocado toast using the sourdough bread. And let's see, I might do like an egg over easy on the top of the salmon with some little arugula. Oh my goodness, it is gonna be popping. It's gonna be so good. Where's the arugula? As a matter of fact, I picked up a bag of arugula. I don't know where it, where it is right now, but I'll locate it, trust me. And that's gonna go, you know, that's gonna be Tammy's brunch. It's gonna be so delicious. I went ahead and picked up this container of grapes. <laughs> As you can see, they have the different color variations. Uh, they're seedless grapes, obviously. And yeah, because everybody in the house likes a different type of grape. Like my kids, they love the green grapes. 
me personally i love the red grapes and yeah so we're gonna trust me we're gonna be tearing this apart once i wash them clean it thoroughly how do i clean my fruits just in case you want to know add a little water cold water of course to a bowl with some apple cider vinegar add the fruits and allow them to soak for a couple minutes and that's how you get them nice and clean my daughter went ahead and she picked up some fresh cantaloupe because she didn't want to take her chances with just getting the whole cantaloupe just in case it wasn't right so she was like you know what i want to get me some cantaloupe that looks like it's ripe already besides i want to eat it in the car and guess what by the time she got to the car she fell asleep and i also got some zoodles because your girl is gonna add some lemon with some shrimps and we are gonna make ourselves some zoodle shrimp scampi it is gonna be epic i'm telling you as a matter of fact if you want to see how i make that recipe just let me know all right so we're gonna have the zoodle shrimp scampi and we're also gonna have the uh avocado toast with the smoked salmon on top with a delicious poached egg or maybe egg over easy who you what what <laughs> it's gonna be something else it's gonna be a movie, trust me. All right, let's see. And we recovered the arugula. Yes, hubby went ahead and placed it in the refrigerator because it was a separate bag. And we have the arugula that we're gonna add to our avocado toast as well. Now here's the thing, if you can't find arugula, you can rock out with micro greens because it's so hard to find the micro greens, honestly. I ended up looking all over for the microgreens and I can't find them. So this is the closest to it. It's the baby arugula and we're going to rock out with that. I also went ahead and got some eucalyptus bundles. We're just going to call it that. It's a big thing right now on social media where you take the eucalyptus and you hang it in the bath. And I'm assuming it releases all of the mint flavors, which is good for your sinuses and so on and so forth. Especially during the season when it's like so chilly and you have a cold every five minutes. Not to mention, it's a good meditative um, thing to do as well. You know, it gives you somewhat of a tranquil sense of calm and zen while you're taking a shower. So I'm just going to hang this in the shower head. That's it. I'm done. I didn't get anything else. Maybe next time I get some more stuff and I definitely share it with you. But of course, we have some more hauls coming, whether it be Walmart hauls, um, Fashion Nova hauls, hauls, hauls on top of hauls, all right? But anyway, that wraps it up. Um, I probably, I don't know what else I'm going to do, but I probably turn the camera off. The kids have school tomorrow, so I'll probably get them ready, maybe edit some footage once I get them down. And that's about it, my loves. That's about it. As always, TKM for life. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and make sure you share these videos, all right? And I'll catch you guys in another video. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.